my name's Charlie. I'm a choreographer and a dancer for Bluefish Entertainments. I've been lucky enough to work with Bluefish now for many, many years. I've travelled all over the world and done some really fantastic jobs with them. There have been times, however, when I've had to supplement my choreography and dance income with other work because in the entertainment industry, there's just not always the jobs available. And there's that time when you're resting and you need to find other ways of making some money. For me, the best thing that I've found is working as a fittings model. So over the next three sessions, I'm gonna be talking to you about um, what you need to be a fit model, who's suitable to be a fit model, um, and then I'm gonna talk about the casting process, and finally, what actually happens in a fitting session and what you're expected to do. So what is a fittings model? A fittings model or fit model is somebody that tries on clothes for a clothing brand when they're in the first stages of production of a new garment. So for example, they may have designed a new dress at Urban Outfitters. I would then go into Urban for a fit session. They give me the dress, it's the first sample made of that dress. And first of all, I have to make sure that I can actually get it on. And then I have to check whether it feels comfortable, whether I can still move around, whether I can stand up and sit down easily, whether I can lift my arms up without showing my bum if it's a short skirt, all those sorts of things. Now, obviously they can put this dress on a mannequin, but a mannequin can't walk and talk. They can't tell them how the garment feels. So that's my job. For example, if I was fitting this t-shirt, it might look fine, but it might be that the neck feels extremely tight. So I would tell whoever it was I was fitting with that the neck was too tight and they would know to make it bigger for the next sample. So all the clothes that you've ever bought probably have been fitted on someone at some point just to make sure that you can actually get them on and off and that they feel comfortable. I've worked as a fit model now for over 10 years. I've worked for lots of high street brands, including Urban Outfitters, Topshop, Miss Selfridge, um, I've also worked for lots of sportswear brands, I've worked with um, wedding dress designers, and I've even done some maternity wear. Yep, I sent that picture to my boyfriend, he was working away at the time, so I sent him that to freak him out a little bit. So lots of people ask me initially, who can become a fit model and what size do they have to be? Well, there is no set size. Fitting models can be anything from a size six all the way up to a size 22, 24. There really is no, no exact limit. Every company uses different sizes. Some will use just a size 10, some might use just a size 12, some might use a size 14 and a size 22. It just depends. I personally work as a size 10 fittings model. Um, but that doesn't mean that I am the perfect 10, because basically a perfect 10 doesn't exist, neither does any other size. Um, that's because in the UK, there are no actual set sizes. Um, it seems crazy, but any shop you go into sets their own size. So a size 10 in one shop might be totally different to a size 10 in another shop. I tend to fit for um, younger brands like Topshop, because I am quite straight up and down. I've got quite an athletic sort of boy figure. I don't particularly have a small waist. I don't particularly have big hips or big boobs. So therefore the younger brands tend to like that kind of sizing. Whereas brands that are aimed at older people, perhaps like uh, Next and Marks and Spencers, they might go for a curvier figure. So therefore somebody with a curvier body would be more suitable for them. So how do you know if you're suitable to be a fit model? Well, basically you just have to be in proportion. So for example, if you have, if you're very blessed with a very big chest and really tiny little hips, and you know that generally you wear a size 12 on top, but you might wear an only an eight or a 10 on the bottom, you're not gonna be right for fit modeling. You need to really be aiming to always wear the same size on your bottom that you wear on your top half. Also the same goes for sort of length. If you have a very long body and perhaps short legs or vice versa, again, you're not gonna be okay to fit model because they like everything to be pretty much in proportion. But as I said, every shop has its own measurements. So the only way to really know if you're gonna be any good as a fit model 
is to measure yourself and send off your measurements to a fittings agency and if they can find you the work they'll let you know. So there are many many fittings agencies out there if you have a Google um, and have a look online, you'll find that most of them have websites so you can contact them that way. I've worked for lots of fittings agencies over the years. Some have consistently found me lots of work. Others I've just done the odd job for every now and again. Um, so the best bet for you will be to send your stuff off to as many agencies as possible so that you've got as much chance as you can to get work. What you need to do is have a look on their websites and you'll find that some agencies will have an online form where you just fill out your details on there and they'll ask for a few measurements and maybe to send in some photographs. If they don't have an online form then just send them an email with your basic measurements and like I said um, a full length photograph just to show your body shape off. So when you're applying for a job you want to first of all put your height down because that's really important and that is measured in feet and inches but every other measurement is taken in centimetres. Don't ask me why they still do the height in um, feet, but they just, most brands do. It's worth knowing it, knowing your height in centimetres as well, in case you ever get asked. But generally, they ask your height in feet and inches and everything else in centimetres. So the next things that you want to measure are your bust, your waist, and your hips. Now, your bust, you just take that measurement wearing just a normal t-shirt bra, not padded, not big push-up bra or anything just a normal t-shirt bra and just measure it around the fullest part and make sure that the tape measurement isn't dropping at the back or lifting up at the back your waist you just measure the smallest part which is good we all like to have the smallest part of our waist and then the with your hips measure the fullest part and make sure you write that down that you've measured hips at fullest now don't lie with your measurements, don't be tempted to sort of breathe in a little bit and take off an extra centimetre here and there because you don't know what measurements the company you're applying for wants. They might want your waist to be a centimetre bigger than you are or a centimetre smaller, so don't, don't cheat it. Just go with exactly what measurements you are at the time. Um, and send them off and um, to, the, to the fittings agency and they'll get back to you if they think you're a suitable size for them to work with. And what they'll do is they'll either invite you in for a casting themselves, so they will then take full measurements um, themselves, and they might take some photographs of you, or they might ask you to do that yourself. So they might say to you, can you take some more in-depth measurements, please, and send us some photos. So now, hopefully, you know a little bit more about what it means to be a fittings model and whether it might be right for you. So send those emails off to those agencies and hopefully you'll get some positive responses back and you'll get booked in for some castings. In my next episode, I'll talk to you about what happens in a casting and what you need to bring along with you. So make sure you subscribe to the Bluefish Entertainment's YouTube channel so that you can catch my next episode and also so you can look at all the other great content that they've got on there. They've got lots and lots of videos for you to have a look through. In the meantime, enjoy your week and thanks for listening.